Hello everyone, welcome back to Shadow Toys Photography. Today we're looking at the Doomsday Crisis 4 Alice LR004 112 scale action figure by Bro Toys or Resident Evil. Okay, so here is Alice by Bro Toys and as you saw from the other video this is the other version the other version was lr003 and this is lr004 um from i believe it's from resident evil 4 says the packaging honestly as i stated before it's been quite a while since i've seen the resident evils all the way through i remember the one two three and i remember four when she uses her clones and i don't remember her wearing this outfit i'm drawing a complete blank um, I remember something similar in Resident Evil 3, but, and to be honest, I know there was a fifth Resident Evil, was there a sixth? And I don't think I saw the one where Michelle Rodriguez comes back. I'm like, wait a minute, she's back in a Resident Evil? Yeah, I, I definitely didn't see that one. So, I have to catch up on my Resident Evil movies. But anyways, this is another Alice. I, I do like it because uh, you can't go wrong with any version you get. Because again, if you saw the movie, she uses clones. And the more the merrier. Each Alice we get is just another clone for the collection pretty much. And as you can see, let's get into her details. Her jacket is well done. Like that, that wasn't me. That's intentional. It's all ripped, torn, uh, stained. It's got a nice wire down the uh, center here and on the hood, as you can see. Take a look at the rest of this jacket and we'll take a look at the rest of her. But yeah, she just looks really, again with those phenomenal boots. We'll go from, we'll go bottom to top this time. Again, this is real cloth this time. That is really, really nice details. Her outfit, we'll take her jacket off. I haven't even taken her jacket off yet. Harness, outfit. We'll take the hood off here. Now she does kind of have, you know, a mom kind of haircut there. And when looking at the promo pics, I was like, I definitely like the other version's hair a little better. But I think it's like that, so the hood can uh, fit on a little nicer. You know, I haven't switched heads yet or tried any of that swapping stuff yet, but I'll take a look at her face. I'll bring the light. I think that a little better there. Oops, take a look at that. The face sculpt coming through there. A little shading there, but again, it's giving the demonic eye effect but over the camera it's the light is hitting it perfect reflecting it looks so realistic it's like a like hot toys eye oh you could kind of catch it right there a little subtle but it looks it's hot toys level uh eye paint there and mila's in there i see her i see you hair sculpt Again, with nice shading and texture. Here, let's go ahead. Well, I want to go through her, her articulation with the jacket on, so I don't want to take off her jacket just yet. But, I mean, we'll go through articulation. Let me pose her, and then we'll take the jacket off when you can see the rest. So, again, she's on the same setup as the other version. The Nota Man kind of setup, or figure arts, if you're familiar with those. And her body is pretty much, yeah, I checked them out. It's pretty much very third party um, standard, you know, same as uh, 3 0 Sarah Connor. Sarah Connor, if you want to check out that video of mine and the 3 0 112 scale Sarah Connor, it's exactly the same bodies. Uh, the Trinity, I'll pull Trinity out. Sarah, I won't pull out because you, you could just see the video for that one. Um, I'll compare it to the other ones, but it is more of a figure art scale. But anyways, I'll talk and pose at the same time. Looks down, incredible, incredible down and up. It's perfect, and this is her standing, so. I feel like when you show her leaning, you know what I mean? Like, let's uh, do it this way. Tilt, I mean, she's gonna get everything because of that neck is rubbery. 
in there, but let me try and move just the top, just the the neck joint where it connects, you know, up top there. And yeah, she gets that angle look. Very, very nice neck joint. Very good articulation there. Let's move on to the shoulders with the jacket on first. She could get her arms all the way up. Oh, there's her goes her head. I guess I didn't pop that on all the way. There we go. I feel snap. But same as the other one, double jointed. This is how much she gets with the jacket on. Inch. A wrist joint in there. The bicep uh, swivel. Oh, that's a little tight in there too. Is again down here. You'll see. My only uh, one thing, she does come with a little watch here. One thing though, this hand, I had to put a piece of paper in where the uh, connection is because it wasn't staying on. And it has nothing to do with the joint. It's the actual hand itself. The porthole in there was a little wide. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, I just put a little paper in there and it plugged that up and now it doesn't fall off as easily but yeah it was falling off a little too easy I was like oh what's going on there but here she gets a little bit more in the upper right under her chest there upper diaphragm Move the jacket as you can see without the other versions harness and this one gets a little bit more range and then if you want to go with the bottom one there she gets more and then if you want to incorporate the neck like she is you know, very crunched, very crunched. Like, that's an ab crunch. <laughs> One, <laughs> you know. Let's do side to side. Well, I'm using her head, too. That's cheating. Now let's do just the top. Uh, not too much. A little bit, a little bit. It's there. Twist. It's there. And then out the bottom. Yep. Yeah side to side and we saw up and down nice very good her hands her hands popping off a little bit here when i screw something up there we go i feel it's a little more attached leg kicks up again i don't think no it does not she does not i repeat does not have a thigh cut it's only up in the crotch joint again so that's a little disappointing, but it does get the movement there. So it doesn't hinder the articulation or take away from the articulation, luckily. But I do prefer a thigh cut there because, you know, why would you want to have less articulation? Double jointed knees. I mean, cost cutting. It's just not, it's just not a, it's just not a thing to do anymore. You know, just add the articulation because I get that. You know, it is expensive to only get a little bit of movement out, but that little bit makes a difference. It really does. Let's get the, uh, this one has more of a, a boot swivel in there just because of the boot design. And of course her, let's get her foot straight down and then do the ankle here. Maybe we'll do it on this one because it's less hindered. Yeah, and you can see a lot better. Very good, all the movement. Not quite McGregor, but not bad. And here, let's get her, we'll get her accessories out. We'll get her into a pose. Let's do some quick comparisons and then we'll go to her accessories because I'm not gonna do as many as before. As you can see uh, the other lines, you can check out the first Alice's video if you wanna see her compared against other lines. I'm gonna stick to mostly third party, but here is the other one. Face uh, comparisons. Okay, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> stop the. Well, was it self love or it's a clone of yourself? No, I'm getting off subject. I'm getting off subject here. Anyways, but yeah, it's a. Uh, I really like them. I really like them both. Which one is better? <sighs> I can't really decide. I want to say this one only because I have this one, but if I didn't have this one, you know, I'd want this one, you know, it's, it's tough. This has the more classic, like I said, it seems like more from Resident Evil 2, but they say they're both from 4. I have to brush up on my movies again. 
as you can see, they're perfectly the same height. We'll bring in Deadpool. It was not quite giving the perfect stand there. Let's bring in a Fison, naked Fison Arnold Terminator. Put him on this side, maybe. As you can see, just for a minute. So she works with that. So very much third party, smaller scaled stuff. Let's bring in, sorry with the hands, it's just a lot. These are, have them all over the place, it's tough to grab. Mr. Anderson there, bring out Deadpool. So you can see with third party, she scales fine. Here's Trinity. Again, if you wanna see, same setup, same body, same neck. Same, 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 which is interesting. I mean, there's really no other, the um, bicep needs to be up here. Other than that, you know, what they did with the neck, it's different, but I mean, it gets a lot of movement. Yeah, let's see, and Trinity's wearing, well, she's kind of not exactly flat footed there. Cause she's got some heel boots on. We'll pop Neo out, you get an idea. You can kind of use the background there, the lines to kind of use as a, a ruler of measurement like they're doing a police lineup. And here's just a quick Mezco regular butcher. So, I mean, she doesn't, she's not so much out of scale. I mean, she scales better with the smaller stuff. I mean, again, forget NECA. But here, let's bring in a Valiverse Trooper female this time. As you can see, you know, she's right in there. They could fight, you know, they could be, the Valiverse can be a umbrella female. You know, let's bring in, start bringing in some Resident Evil. I don't have too much yet. I'm building it up. Here's Leon, another third party. I think it's PC toys, PW toys. I can't keep track with all the third party names, but I appreciate them cranking out these great Resident Evil products. Here's a, uh, you know what, let's grab Ada Wong. Again, same body, same setup. She's not gonna, she's got even crazier boots. Again, you have the, you can check out the review for her as well. You wanna see her articulation and how she scales up. Let's bring in one more third party and then we'll get into accessories. Did things out of order, but that's okay. Here's the PC toys. Or PW, yeah, PC. <laughs> Dolph Lundgren from The Expendables. But yeah, if you, like I'm doing, want to put Alice in with the rest of your Resident Evil crew, she's going to work. She's going to work just fine. And it's going to look really, really good in any display, photos. Let's keep this Alice in here just for... Uh, because we're going to swap weapons and stuff. All right, let's just bring out the whole shebang. She's got the stand again. Ah, just everything's so great. Here's first off, here's the the shotgun. And yes, these come out. I'm going to pull one out and then try and put it back in on camera. Check that out. That is awesome. Let me pop it in and then we'll show the detail. Can I do it on camera? Oh, goodness. Why are things over the camera so much more difficult? Hold on, there we go, got it. So yeah, they they can all pop out. And that's, they're detailed. You can see the, the rivet in there where the hammer, the gun hits and fires. Like that's such a great detail. Beautifully painted with the gold on the edge there. Sorry about the fingers, just, uh, there we go. Very nice, and the shotgun fits right in there. This is a crazy looking shotgun. Triple barreled. Now isn't that some Doom type stuff or what? I mean, that's crazy. Of course that flips down. No, they don't pop out. I thought they did with the interchangeable, but as you can see, this is a little smaller, but hey, that's okay. I mean, with all the details and everything, it's really, really cool. Let's put this one in her hand. Yeah, just like the other Alice. Whoops, 
she gets that perfect articulation. I like how the camera kind of focuses on both, one or the other. Boom! And that can go around her fine. Oh man. They knocked this one out the park, out the park. Let's keep her hand up there. And the shotgun just, see the sleeve right there? All the details you don't really get to see from the pictures and pops right in there. Boom, boom stick ready to go. She comes with a pair of these. Now I don't know the exact number designation. I just know they're uh, SMGs or machine guns. Twin, maybe in the vector family, I don't know. Very cool, different. They have the barrel holes there, and of course she can dual wield. Let's get that going real quick. I like how you can see her arm and stuff through the jacket. So cool. Yeah, see? Yeah, her thing comes off. You gotta stick this back on, so you gotta be careful of that. So that's been happening. It might just be mine. As you can see, I popped a little piece of paper in there. The joint itself is fine. It's literally just the glove. This glove hand, the trigger. Wait, wait her. Gotta look for that arm bend. You don't want to articulate it in the wrong direction. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, I totally made it upside down there. There we go. So you gotta be careful. And they have jackets on with the cloth goods because you want to bend that arm the wrong way and snap. But yeah, here, let's do the pose as promised. Some kind of a, the Neo-ish. Let's see, get that lined up a little better there. They're looking down, it's tucking her jacket. Let's show off some of this jacket articulation. She stand, can I make her stand? Yes. Very nice. Do, 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 do. Very cool. That just comes alive. To see how much a wire in a jacket, the difference that is? It's really just the little things. And I'm glad at least third party gets it. You know, at least third party gets it. Cause it is just super getting tiresome. It's getting tiresome begging these big companies you know just just to do it right you know i don't i don't understand i guess she comes with twin uh i believe these are nine millimeters from beretta handgun At the end of the day the holes it does not top barrel does not cock back but the magazine is removable. You can see the bullet <laughs> right there. It's got some detail. Pop that in there, and she's good to go. I like the way she looks at the handguns. She doesn't come with too many, not as much weapons as the, not as many, I should say, as the first. Alice, see, yeah, this hand's gonna come off every time I try and put a weapon in there. Which is a little bit annoying. Again, let me know if this is just mine. Oh, her watch came off. I'm gonna put that to the side before I lose that. Let me know if it's just mine or if yours does that as well. And it's not the end of the world. And of all the things that could go wrong with, with a figure, it is forgivable, but. <laughs> yes. Like, she just looks so good. Put the hood up. Man, yeah, I don't know. This, this, the jacket for this one really makes a difference. Really makes a difference. Now let's just show off the rest of the accessories real quick because she comes with quite a bit still. The T virus, G virus, I can't keep up virus. It looks like this might be the cure version. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't blue the cure and the red is the virus? Oh, oh, this is twist. Is this twist? No? Am I crazy? Could have felt something. 
don't open it, you fool. <laughs> I know, I just, uh, I felt, I could have sworn I felt something move, but, yeah, I gotta rewatch the movies. I'm, I, I, like I said, I remember the first three to four, obviously not if these are in there, and I don't, but I definitely don't want to just skip, I want to rewatch them all. There's always a detail, a line, something you miss, and finally she comes with, well not actually finally, but this knife, oh we got a little fuzzy hair, very nice. Is this a buoy? Maybe? Cleaver? No. More like a buoy. Let's get the hands. Did I grab them all? This one comes with two fists. I don't believe the first Alice came with fists. That's that out the way. Then she comes with two melee. Gripping and the those are detailed well enough, painted well enough. See the fingernails in there. And the kind of open, gripping, machine gun holding, T-virus grasping, maybe. Yeah. Hand. Which is cool. And of course, if you missed it the first time, the awesome, game-changing stand that has the drawer for all the accessories so you don't lose it. So beautiful, beautiful. All right, and as promised, well, let's get another, uh, the other Alice's guns in her hands, just to show she can switch and interchange. And yeah, you can. Get her looking any which way with it. This head is, I don't know why. I was playing with it for, I don't know, a day, two days, and the head was staying on just fine. It may just get a, be getting caught in the jacket and getting popped up. It's not like it was falling off. Here, I mean, I get it on there, and oh, it feels a little loose. Oh, maybe it will slide off. Let's see. No, there we go. The snap isn't like a real tough connecting snap, you know? It's just like... You can feel it pinch it, you know? All right, well, now that our hands are coming off, might as well take those off. Let's take the jacket off. Let's see what's underneath here. Oh, she's got some more cloth goods under there. Very cool. The jacket, as is. Tried to save time with this video. It ran long anyway. Oh, wow, well, who cares? It's worth it. You got to see everything. And you can really see the articulation now. So she doesn't have... Is it a butterfly? I mean, whether she has it or not, that's butterfly motion, and that's pretty good. Where is it? Maybe it's giving me trouble. It's making that sound because the it's like a rubber and plastic, so it's yeah, yeah. I see. So it's stretch. It's stressing a little bit when you do that movement. When you move it, not just up and down. We kind of move it to the side and move it that way. It doesn't do that. Yeah, again, it's got the articulation there, and yeah, very good. Very good. Oh, if her head's popping off now, does her head have the little dent in there? Her hair, the indentation? Yes, it does. Ooh, the back of her. Very cool. And I don't know how, I know she's got straps, like workable straps. I don't know how she load it up again i gotta i gotta watch the movie i could just google it but i don't want to do that i mean i'll watch the movie first and if i can't tell what's happening then maybe i'll uh then google images but i feel like that's cheating you know skipping to the end there see if she can get the if i had a better hand on there but yeah she can get the hand grip the reload very cool very recommended alice or lilu dallas multipass i don't know whoever you want to say but now this this figure is excellent alice from doomsday crisis resident evil